When we're traveling, we really try to only bring multi-purpose items. Our adventures typically call for very versatile gear, and if we can have one item that does two jobs, then perfect, which that's why we're reviewing the Body Glove Dynamo Rib Cage Water Shoes. When Body Glove contacted us to test out these shoes, I was honestly kind of skeptical because I haven't worn water shoes since I was about eight. They were those neon with stretchy material across the top shoes that were pretty popular back in the early 90s. What are those? But apparently, water shoe technology has gotten just a little bit better over the past few years. Rocks, shells, urchins, and glass are all hazards that you can find at a beach. Now, I get it. If you're blessed with being able to go to a pristine white sand beach all the time, every time, maybe you don't need water shoes, but for the other 99% of us, they're nice to have on hand. You know, trying to tiptoe through a rocky shoreline or a riverbed is a surefire way to stub a toe or get a nasty cut if your foot finds something sharp. So let's talk about these water shoes. I've got a pair and Steph has a pair. We've had a chance to put them through the ringer. They pretty much have the same features though. They're really low profile, which means that they're light and they've got a barefoot feel, but still offer protection. The actual shoe is made out of neoprene, which is the same stuff a wetsuit's made out of, so it won't absorb water and get waterlogged, which also means it dries quickly. If you're in the water and get out, there are drainage holes that allow the water to escape quickly. The sole extends under the toe cap and the heel cap to give added protection. The rib cage of the shoe connects the laces down to the sole, giving a very tight fit if that's what you're going for. So like if you're crossing a river, or playing out in the surf or something like that. But you can also wear them totally loose if you aren't going in the water. And perhaps most importantly, they look significantly better than their 1993 counterparts. So real world usage. These got heavy usage earlier this year on our trip to Nicaragua. We hiked a few miles to this secret cove and we had to cross a beach, a really steep hill, and about a mile of lava rock. I still had to watch where I was stepping because some of the sharpest rocks were uncomfortable even through the sole of the shoe, but I think any other shoe would have been about the same, uh, just minus the water performance. Shoeless would have been impossible on that terrain, and even my sand sandals would have struggled to keep my feet away from the sharp rocks. And so far they've held up great. Even after a thorough usage we've gotten this year, they're showing very minimal signs of wear. In a gear review, I always try to find some kind of negative feedback about the product, but I honestly don't have anything negative to say about these. If I had to make up, you know, kind of a con about them, I wish they would get rid of sand a little bit better than they do when the sand gets inside the shoe, but I've never had a shoe that does that really well, so I don't know. I just, I just really don't have anything bad to say about them. If you want to find out any more information about any of these water shoes that we've reviewed today, check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, it'd be awesome. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. See you next time.